Often when I meet with patients, they ask me, what's the difference between primary pulmonary hypertension and secondary pulmonary hypertension? Basically, primary pulmonary hypertension is this disease with no underlying cause. It's a disease in and of itself. It comes in two forms that we know of now. One is called familial, and this is a disease that runs in families. Uh, and the second form is called idiopathic. Idiopathic is a medical term meaning we don't know what the cause is of unknown cause. And it occurs sporadically uh, throughout the population, much more so in women than in men. Secondary pulmonary hypertension is high blood pressure or high pressure in the pulmonary vessels due to some other underlying disease. The most common causes being emphysema, bronchitis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, what people call COPD, uh, disease of the heart, uh, particularly heart valve disease, the valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle is called the mitral valve. And uh, if that valve leaks or if that valve doesn't open normally, it can cause over time increasing pressure in the lungs, resulting in the same picture. Uh, other common causes of secondary pulmonary hypertension are a disease called pulmonary embolism. And this is uh, a disease caused by blood clots coming from some other place in the body, usually the legs uh, or often during pregnancy in the pelvis, that come up through the vena cava, which is a vein that drains blood back from the legs and the abdomen and also uh, from the upper body back into the heart. And these blood clots can travel up through this vein through the right side of the heart and get impacted in the lungs, uh, in the lung vessels. And uh, if this occurs repeatedly or if a, a large enough amount of uh, blood clot uh, occurs in the lungs, it basically stops up the vessels and uh, pressure begins to rise in order to get blood uh, through the lungs. There are a number of other forms of disease that are also uh, more common in women uh, called connective tissue diseases. And I think we touched on this a bit earlier. Uh, the most uh, common is systemic lupus, but there are other forms of this type of disease. Rheumatoid arthritis uh, is another common one uh, that can cause uh, pulmonary hypertension in the lungs.